To me, horror is about energy and comedy is about energy and anything that you feel really deeply. I love both of those genres. I tend to gravitate towards horror more or people have cast me in parts that are horror more because I like to go to a deeper place. Hi, I'm Tal Zimmerman. I'm the subject of a documentary called Why Horror? Uh, and it's a documentary that explores why we all love to be scared and how the horror genre got to be so popular. Working on Why Horror has definitely given me a different kind of appreciation for why people like to be scared. It's very complicated explaining one's personal tastes, but there are a lot of factors at play. You know, personal experiences, your attitudes towards life and death, just your curiosity towards these things, your desire to explore. Difficult to answer questions like, for example, why people die and why good people die in horrible ways. You know, you read about all kinds of really bad things happening in the media. It's almost like you, you can't take it. You want to sort of find a way to exercise these demons that are bouncing around inside your head. And a horror film is a really great way to kind of soothe yourself almost in a way, to sort of survive these experiences in a very controlled and creative manner. It's a, a safe fright when you're in, in a movie. And I think that enables you to sort of relish it, to sort of uh, enjoy it or look into yourself and say, why am I afraid of this? Uh, it's exploration. It's, it's like uh, a laugh. A laugh comes up from nowhere and you don't know why you laughed. And sometimes it's inappropriate. And sometimes it's, but then you wind up looking at yourself and saying, oh, why did I do that? And the same thing happens to me with horror. When talking to a, someone like a social psychologist, they are able to sort of place horror culture in a broader culture that it exists in. And it's been really fascinating hearing someone who's not necessarily part of the horror culture observe what it says about us as people. Horror films allow us to explore uh, terrifying scenes in a way that can provide us with some sort of mastery or at least the opportunity to approach it in a safer um, way. So having a culture of horror film watching in a way is sort of like it's a halfway toward really experiencing raw terror, um, but not to the point where it like really messes you up and you can't go back into the comfortable illusions. Everything we've shot so far has been in Toronto. So we've shot at the Fan Expo and at the Toronto International Film Festival. We want to travel abroad and we have a Kickstarter campaign going right now to raise additional funds to go to Europe and parts of the United States and Japan to talk to uh, art historians and other filmmakers and video game developers. The fears change every year. I mean, there's always that underlying fear that you're going to die with all the movies in your head that you haven't yet made. That's probably the biggest fear I have. Count Dracula, George Romero, Forrest J. Ackerman, Chaz Ballin, uh, Mary Shelley, The Bride of Frankenstein. A book that raises your heart rate and gives you goosebumps. Uh, a movie that has you checking behind the, uh, the basement door after you watch it. Pre-language civilization. People were painting uh, their buddies getting trampled by uh, elephants or I guess it would have been mastodons back then, up until modern times where, you know, people playing uh, video games where they have to slowly walk through a creepy house armed with nothing but a flashlight. Horror is worldwide. There's great horror films coming out of Korea, out of Chile, out of Nigeria, out of ev every nook and cranny and crevice you can imagine. There's, there's horror seeping out of it. That's a good question. I guess that's why we're making the movie.